Hello everyone, my name is Legerani and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. How much can a farm account provide you in a 30 day time period or relatively 30 day? I'm gonna show you in this video my tactic of farming because every time in any of the live stream or going in TK AVK, everyone is asking me, bro, how do you have so many resources? How do you have billions of resources? Then I go into my alt account, my people please. And everyone is looking, whoa, even your alt has billions of resources. It's actually my bank. And I want to explain you my tactic and how I'm farming, what times I'm spending. I'm going to show you everything in this video that I do to farm and make a lot of resources. Because I have a lot of farms. I cannot show you how many farms I have for security reasons. <laughs> in previous kingdom, my farms got zero. <laughs> so for security reasons, I'm just going to show you two of the farms and how far I got with them in a 30-day time period. Right, you're going right into the video. So for example, when is the highest amount of time when you should, when you would spend on a farm account? Most likely would be when is the restart, right? And you have the shops open, you have everything, the VIP, everything, everything, everything. This is a level 17 farm account. I'm gonna, gonna post a card on the top because I've done a video about basic and advanced farm accounts. This is a basic one. An advanced farm account, it is a level 22. At level 22 farm account, you do get an extra March dispatch queue. Now, the reason I'm not upgrading buildings on my farm accounts and I keep them at level 17, is because it's waste of resources and it's waste of time. Once I get the farm account to level 17, once I get the troops that I need for farming, all I do is just train siege. If I go into my troops count, that's pretty much all I have. I want to save my siege if my city is actually getting zero. And level 17 farm accounts is very easy to recover even if they get zero. Going onto the VIP, I can show you that consecutive logging days, 35, this is not something I do all the time. When I have time or when I plan to farm a certain amount of resources, I just reactivated all my farm accounts and I play on them. A couple of tips and tricks regarding the farm accounts. If they are low power, 1 to 10 million farm accounts, you can migrate them with just one passport. Now, the easiest way you can get those passports is going into the Alliance shop. Is very easy to get some credits by just doing the daily donations or whenever the mother load is building. That's exactly what I do, just daily donations or when mother load is building, I don't go into the flags, I don't spend those kind of time. And these credits is kind of piling up. It also helps if the alliance, your farm accounts are, it plays ARC. Because if they play ARC and they win, or even if they lose, you still get some credits. And it helps out, you know, they pile up. Migrating with your farm account every month so for example i it's here for more than a month now uh, my plan is to upload all the resources and i might just migrate them randomly to another kingdom the reason being that is because every time you migrate to a new kingdom you activate the monuments now if you really need like a gazillion of resources you don't have to do this this is something that that i do because i take breaks from farming I do intensive farming and I will explain what intensive farming means it's pretty much logging every four hours not when you're going to sleep but every four hours throughout the day so about three four times I log into my farm account for a month I just go really heavy on farming and after that I stop and I migrate them when you migrated the monument you get all these gems and when you migrate it back which obviously you're gonna have the, the credits and the passports to do that, you're gonna get the monument again. And all these accounts are nothing related to any migrations in the kingdom. Like there is a limit, right? 25 million or 35 million. These are very low power accounts. This is just a, a trick that I do to have gems. Because if you have gems, when the courier station pops, let, let me see if I get it now. No, I'm going to build another 900. Hopefully, it's going to pop. Let's see. All right, so we got a Mysterious Merchant. When I go into the Mysterious Merchant, I buy all the resources. When I refresh the Mysterious Merchants, I buy all the resources. 
or if I manage to get too many gems, you have the VIP shop and I buy resources from there. And you just make cards. And whenever you do the transfer, you have a lot of cards. So right now, if I go into the resource, I do have some cards, 16 million, about 16 million over here. And I think some of the tier four as well. These are all my cards. This is everything that I acquired in like 35 days period. Couple of mistakes that people do regarding the farm accounts is developing them. This is one of the hugest mistake ever in a farm account. You notice the amount of speed ups I have and I'm not doing anything with them. I don't care. I use this account for farming. I don't do any events. There is plenty of events, predicted civilization. I, I don't care. Everything I do with this, this account is use boosts. I make sure he has boosts because little resources that it generates from um, the resource tiles. I'm happy with, with whatever. And gathering. That's the only thing I do. I do attack in uh, the Sunset Canyon because it helps you get experience so you can level up your commanders. I just hit randomly. And if you do get some uh, blueprints, you can force some gathering equipment for the commander that you keep in the mother load. I've seen a lot of players having like 35, 40, 50 million farm accounts. In my opinion, that's horribly wrong. People say that they generate more resources uh, by upgrading the tiles, by upgrading the technology. That's true. But how much time you spend, how many billions of resources you spend to, to do all those things, all those billions of resources, they could have gone to your main account. So for me, that's a, a waste of time. All I keep is a lot of level 17, and I mean a lot, trust me accounts and i just go through them it takes me about three minutes to four minutes to spend on one of them maybe even less i'm kind of made a dexterity to be honest and i'm gonna do that in this video which is not going to be edited i'm gonna show you how much time i spend on a reset on one of my farm accounts now this is a 30 day resources and in order to show you the entire resource that i acquired i should open all the packs and this level one pick one resources are from sculptures whenever you go into the kvk and you rebuild the fortress then is the time when you can donate sculptures i'm not sure if you're noticing my commander one one Sendiak. i don't care i'm looking at the shader i can upgrade his skills one one i really don't care <laughs> any of these sculptures that i have extra i just donate them if you manage to get all the chests from uh, those events when you rebuild the fortress you get 100 million now imagine if you have 20 farm accounts, 100 million if you get food or wood. Now imagine if you get if you have 20 farm accounts, right? That's 2 billion resources right off the bat, just like that, just because you traded in all the sculptures. Even the universal sculptures, I just convert them and I trade everything when I rebuild the Crusader Fortress on these farm accounts. I don't care to upgrade anything. All I have is a John of Arc that I put in the mother load with my beautiful Sarka and other two, three commanders that are 27 so I can benefit from the more the better, which is another 6% gathering. And that's all I care. And then have enough siege to send four marches for gathering. Level 17 farm accounts are the best to keep on farming. And all you have to do is just log in every four, five hours. When you go into the KVK, you're going to farm even better and more resources because there's more gathering speed. One and two. Uh, in KVK, there's bigger tiles. My focus on these two accounts that I'm going to show in this video was on the gold. Because since they introduced the forge, it's a ridiculously large amount of gold that is being consumed. So I've tried to focus as much as possible on gold. But if there's no gold around, I go on anything else. So is it really hard to have a lot of farm accounts and actually produce a lot of resources? It really isn't. It's very easy. And since I'm transferring the resources, I'm going to pop in all the cards. Yes, yes, yes. And let's see how many resources I managed to produce. I'm at 100 million food already. All right, I'm going to take some stone. Because I know stone I use the most. Use this. Use, use, max, max. That's quite some resources there. And now when I'm transferring my account, like I was showing with that tactic to a random kingdom for 30 days, and I'm not going to log in for 30 days when I transfer them to another kingdom. I just try to remember approximately or set an alarm approximately. Uh, you also get that event, the return of the king. 
you need to be offline for about two weeks to get that event the return of the king which again from there you make some other resources also not so much gold but 100 million foot 100 million wood 76 stone and 210 million gold let me use this as well i'm not sure i think i'm gonna go with the stone yeah let's go with the stone let's use this as well and look at that almost 100 million stone also there's nothing else i can use no these are going when i'm rebuilding the fortress so i don't consume the action points i don't don't farm barns i don't do any kind of these things this is waste of time you just need to log in and you just need to send to farm equipment like i said it's just for gathering and i suppose i could do the chest piece and the helmet but i'm gonna spend gold so next time when i'm gonna return on gathering i'm gonna do that also let's presume that i just logged in on, on the account starting from from this moment and i'm gonna do the stuff that i usually do so vip 9 i go and claim get some more resources claim this as well go real quick claim these resources do the forge put in some more bones if you're gonna forge uh, that equipment i use my boost i'm gonna reuse one it doesn't matter and i use the 24 hour 24 hour there you go real quick easy peasy put my siege on training if i have any chest a silver chest i do open it why not some free stuff then i go into the shop as long as i have gems i don't look at the resources i ju just buy them really quick and then the next thing i look at is for the boost and then i press refresh as long as i'm over 5000 gems i don't look what price they are i just buy them this is a farm account and then i do need the boost i buy those and the experience for your commanders and that's pretty much about it go collect this real quick and there you go i made a lot of progress some extra resources from here collected this real quick then you go into the expedition, you collect the expedition, you go into the shop. I only look for resources into the shop. So you need to be pretty quickly into the shop as well. There's no resources. That's it. Sunset Canyon. And let me just try to attack something real quick. I don't care who I hit. I'm just hitting something real quick. If you see someone that you can actually beat, it will help you out because if you win, you get more experience. You get like 10,000 cards. At this point, I'm not sure if I still need experience. I pretty much have the commanders where I wanted, but that's what I do. You go into the alliance, you go into the technology real quick. You do the donations. It's highly worth it, so you can create those credits. It also helps if the alliance has some territory. You're noticing I'm generating some nice resources over here. Just because we have a good territory, claim the gifts real quick. You go into the mother load, you press gather, you send your march there for gathering onto the mother load march. And now all you have to do is get your three marches out for gathering. Because it is a rush hour, I like to call it a rush hour. You should all know by that. And if you're farming a lot, you're going to notice when it's the rush hour. I'm not going to look for gold specific because I'm I'm pretty sure that all the gold tiles are taken. So I just go for any tiles that I found instead of spending time. So I'm going to go for level 6 food. I don't mind. Click, gather, click, gather. And I have one more march. The next tile, level 5 that I found, I'm going to send it and that's going to be it. There you go. Stone, level 5 and send. And that's it. The last or the lowest amount of time that you spend on your account, the better. So I suppose that was about three minutes. This was a reset. Now, after the reset, there's a couple of things that you don't need to do anymore when you log in. And you just have to keep switching accounts or going on another account and so on. Is it worth it to, to have a lot of accounts? Now, if it takes you try three minutes to send your farm accounts to gathering, if you have 10 accounts that's half an hour right you can do that on your break or even when i don't know you're in a bus or whatever you just swap accounts and you just do it and you can send your farm out it takes half an hour then 
if you log in the second time of the day, it's going to take another half an hour. That's one hour, one hour and a half, two hours if you do four times. But even if you do two times, all right, let's just put it one hour. You spend one hour a day on 10 farm accounts and you can produce like billions of resources in a month. Billions of resources. It all depends how many times you log in, if you're in KVK or not, because if you have higher tiles, obviously it's going to be more resources. Is that really helping? Of course it is. When do you need a lot of resources? When you train and when you go into the KVK. What's the main resource of the game that you need the most? It's resources. This is my tactic. I'm not going to say how many farm accounts I have. I have a lot. Like I said, I'm just going to show this one and I'm going to show another one as well because these two farm accounts, I show them uh, in my videos. And I'm going to transfer the resources after it just in case someone wants to do something nasty. Resource gathered 1.2 billion. Resource assistance 1... <laughs> Point four, and I have right now another half a billion resources. Imagine if I would have gone for gold, if I would have gone for more food and wood, this number would have been much higher. But I'm interested in more gold than the other resources. So for a very long time, I was just farming tiles of gold, even if they were level four, it didn't matter. Just went gold, 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 gold as much as possible. And it did pay off. All right, so this is my second farm account. Before I'm going to do the things, I'm going to repeat the same maneuver that I'm done, I've done on the first one or use all the cards because I'm going to transfer the resources from these two accounts anyway. And let's see how far I managed to get with this one. That's quite a decent amount of resources that I managed to acquire in a one month. You might agree on that. And three, 210 million. And I'm going to use this one's on stones as well, max. And there you go. It looks to me that this one made a little bit more resources than the the previous one. Yeah, pretty much. So this one is more visible of a half a billion resources in a one month period. Right here now, let's get into it. Let's get the stuff done. We just logged in into this account and it was just the reset and we want to get the stuff done. Claim. Claim. Let's get the resources out of the way. Let's get those done, put put some stones there to build. Do we have any gold chest, silver key? Let's get the silver key. Why not? Activate the boosts. Boost activated. 24, 24, 24, 24, and 24. Alright, I'm gonna have to activate a mysterious merchant since I don't have it. Probably have to do another one. All right, there you go. I activated a mysterious merchant because you do have mysterious merchant at the reset. So again, it's the same thing. I don't care about that. I do care about the boost. I buy the boost experience and I refresh. I get all the resources because I need the resource or boost. There you go. Very nice. Just stop piling the boost. That's pretty much about it. Let's collect all this stuff there's just some extra nice resources over there going to the expedition get this out of the way going to the shop there you go i found some resources over here that's super nice and some more resources and that's pretty much about it this is a farm account so that's all i care about resources that's the whole purpose of these accounts Or I beat that guy. I lost against this guy. That's bad when you lose. Come on, I have to beat him. Yes, I did beat him. No, should have press refresh. Well, it doesn't matter. All right, so that's pretty much about it. I've done my tries over there. Let's go to the mother load, because it's a long road to the mother load. All roads lead read to Rome. I think that was a movie. Right, and I need a net, another level 5. Oh, look at that. How about that? I'm actually getting some gold. That's pretty nice. Again, the reason I'm not searching on this one is because I know it's rush hour and it will be just a waste of time. Just gonna get whatever is close right now. When it's not rush hour, I do search for level 6 gold ones. That was a wrong one. 
I think I took me a little bit longer on this one than it took me on the other one, just because I missed on that verification reward. So I do the donations again in the alliance. I get the gifts, and that's gonna be it. I'm done with this one as well. And what would be logical to do next? Just switch account, go to the other, and so on. And repeat. Is this easy? Spending about three, four minutes on a farm account once you get it to level 17? That's pretty easy. And then you just reap the rewards and just get the resources. It's entirely up to, to you or it's entirely up to everyone how they want to spend their time on a farm account. But I just found the 17 farm account to be the best. 22, you get the extra march. It's most likely going to be a lot more resources, which might just not take that long. I just didn't, didn't want to bother anymore. Once I got my, my farms, all my farms, all the numbers of farms that I have, 17, I just got the troops and everything. I made my system like this. I just sent to, sent to farms and half a billion of resources. Like I was mentioning, imagine if, if you have 20, right? I'm not saying I have 20, but <laughs> imagine if you have 20. Half a billion of resources on each, that's 10 billion resources, right? Not to mention... When you rebuild the fortress and you donate all these these heads that you have on them, and you get those ten thousand chests that you can pick resources again, is that a lot of resources? Of course it is. That's how you make resources for KVK for field battles and fight like crazy, exactly like I do. And don't need to spend your cards from your main account. I hope you do get something useful from this. Until next time, this is Boy Ronnie signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there. We'll